Hi, my name's Pete Dalton. Um, I guess if I was to describe myself and what I do, I help people live their life in the way that it should be, you know, to make it the, the best adventure it can be, to help them clear blocks and achieve what they want to achieve. Um, and I don't know whether you've ever had this experience of just looking for something a little bit extra in life, or maybe just wanting to find some missing link with something that you kind of sense is there and you just can't quite put your finger on it. Or maybe you've had a block that you want to get over and you just can't work out what it is and quite how to, to do that. Well, that was kind of where I was about a year ago. Um, life was okay, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, it was fine. I got a happy family life. I was doing some wonderful things. Um, I was privileged to have learned some great therapeutic things from wonderful teachers. I'd even got fantastic spiritual beliefs, but I, I just thought that there was just something not linking it up, something not, not joining it up. Um, and of course, I thought maybe I'm kind of overthinking this, you know, life's okay, just leave it as it is. And um, I kind of had a, a voice in my head that I, I, I got, it was my mother's voice, and uh, I won't emulate the, the Irish accent right here, and I'll leave some of the flowery <laughs> bit bookends off this, but she'd often say to me, she'd go, Peter, out of everybody, if there's one person on God's green earth that can absolutely overcomplicate anything or that needs to be done or thought about, it's got to be you. And I'd always shrug this off and think, okay, it's a bit of banter and just let it go. But you know, when, a year ago, I started thinking, maybe, just maybe she had a point, but then I kind of let it go. And I thought, I can't kind of not search anymore. So I did. And that's where I came across FLP. And I'd come across it three or four years ago. I can't quite remember how. I think it was either a book or a press release. And I uh, saw a picture of Anne on there. And I kind of just mentally logged that, you know, one day I'll look, look into that. Didn't think much more of it, but, you know, stored it in a place where marked, look up this later. And about a year ago, when I was having these, these thoughts, I thought, it's time now to, to look into FLP. So without any further research, I just booked on a course. In fact, I, I booked on two courses um, because obviously at that time, the, the time was right. And from, from the get-go then really, I had some really profound experiences which started making the connections I wanted to make and answering some of the questions that I wanted answered. So one of my, the first things I did was uh, be regressed into a, a past life. And at that point, I, I found I, I, it was a, a few centuries ago, I was a, a young girl and, and it was kind of a, a period of mourning. And with further investigation, it turned out that my father had died and he was quite a uh, gregarious person, quite somebody notable in, in the village where we lived. And as well as obviously mourning for his death, there was a kind of sense of a loss of magic um, in life. And the lesson I got from that was, you know, that I can still have that magic. It's, it's inside rather than outside. And that was really profound. Um, and then even more fascinating, perhaps, was journeying into the past, the, the present and the future. And that really helped me make some big connections about all the things that I was doing in life and, and find the answers that I wanted to find. Um, you know, in a, in a nutshell, I got a kind of energy, which is an archetype of the adventurer. And I found that that was actually linking what I was doing. And if you like, if you believe this sort of thing, you could consider that that was me finding a, a soul's purpose. And that's been really useful for me. But of course, you know, it all might sound a bit weird when you think, um, you know, what you're doing journeying and space and time and stuff. But when you think about, you know, the, the prevailing quantum physics paradigm, you know, where time itself is a filter or an illusion, um, the world, you know, that we perceive as a, as a hologram, it makes a bit more sense that you can do this journey and, and get really good benefits from it. Um, of course, that's not where it ended. I'd achieved a lot of things that I wanted. I went on to do the advanced course, 
where I had a really profound experience of going way into the future and meeting my future self. And um, that, was, that was really profound. Um, quite hard to describe in words, but I, I got a lot of learnings. Um, one that I kind of got everything I need. I just need to get on and, you know, get my shit together and do this stuff. Um, and the other thing which <laughs> kind of irked me a bit was the message was life is simple. So I think maybe someone had a point. Um, but my experiences with FLP haven't, you know, been confined to those sorts of things. I've worked with clients um, on a range of, of issues. And one of the first clients I had was somebody who I was seeing for something else. And he, he just made a comment. He said, you know, I've had my house virtually packed up for six years and I know what I want to do. I know where I want to move and just, I just haven't done it, you know? And so I kind of said, well, I've got something we could try. Do you want to have a play? Give it a go. Now the smart money is always when that question's asked, the answer's always yes. And luckily he said yes. So I regressed him to the past, we removed some blocks, and then he went to the future five years ahead to look at where he's living. And he found a place that he was really happy, but he was very surprised because it wasn't quite what he thought. It wasn't in the area that he was gonna to move to, and it wasn't the type of place that he was gonna move. Anyway, it came out of the session and he just said, you know, that all makes sense, that's, that's perfect. And shortly after his house was on the market, six months later, lo and behold, he's moved to a place that kind of resembles where he, was, where he saw in the future. And the most important thing, he was happy and he still is with where he is. Um, I've worked with people who wanna make business decisions or career changes. And equally importantly, I've worked with people who just wanna play, they wanna experience what might be out there in the past or in the future. And I, you know, I love that type of thing. Um, you know, from my point of view, it, it's fantastic. It's a way of clearing blocks, a way of kind of answering questions. You might not even know what the question is. Um, and a way of kind of firmly building a really compelling future. Um, I'd recommend it to anybody because I think there's always time to explore. Mm -hmm.